Oh, hey there. Oh, we just cram it. It's for the gram. All right, Tyler, Rowan, I feel like we should get to know you with some uh, questions. Yes, it is favorite question. Shoot, shoot. How many countries have you walked across? I have not walked the length of Japan, but I've walked five days with my brother who walked the length of Japan. This brother. I've walked the length of two countries. Japan and the Vatican. Smash cut to Kentaro Watch Japan. Whoa! <laughs> Well, that's crazy. How many generations of restaurant owners are in your family? Our parents have had a restaurant for almost 30 years in Woodside. It's called Buck's Restaurant. Smash cut! To Buck's <laughs> Restaurant. Yeah. yeah, it's been around for a long time, so they really that's got us nice. hooked. They got us hooked in the restaurant 30 years. Business. We've been in the business since we were five, six? Uh, I was 12. It's great. The restaurant business is such, if you have an appetite for humanity, it's kind of like yeah. reverse traveling, where as opposed to going out and seeing the entire world, you basically open your doors and the world comes and sees you. Huh, True. that's a good way of thinking of it. You guys are kind of travelers, right? Yeah, reverse yeah. travelers. Have you guys ever won an amazing race? I have not won an amazing race, mm. but I do know somebody who has. Basically, the cool brother keeps, walks Japan, wins the amazing race, cut to. Five continents, nine countries, more than 59 thousand miles. BJ and Tyler, you are the official winners of the Amazing Race. Congratulations. What, what surprised you most about opening a restaurant? It was the first night. And we didn't have, luckily nobody was sitting out here, but the sprinklers went off out here. First day we had the sprinklers. That's, that'll really rain on your parade. Oh my God, literally. Cut that out, cut that out. You can edit this, right? No, it's live stream right now. I love being in the middle. Okay, it's a vegetarian burger. It's, it's, you know what? We don't call it a vegetarian burger. We call it a plant-based burger. This is plant-based burger patty, and it is definitely using cow-based cheese, which is our queso. We've got green chilies. My favorite queso in SF, just saying. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, Not an ad. Green chilies, <laughs> California avocado, and on a brioche bun for extra denial. Because what you guys do is you can't get Tex-Mex. There's plenty of Mexican food in San Francisco, but you cannot get Tex-Mex here. And you guys bring it, and I appreciate that. Thank you. And that's why we're friends. <laughs> well, we were friends before, but you know, it, it helps. good food it helps. helps. Yeah. Been open for seven years, and being on Valencia is like being in a small town. Come to Valencia Street, uh, our neighbors are a family, their neighbors are a family. We've got husband, wife, and family restaurants, retail shops, coffee shops, and bars all up and down the street. And Valencia Quarter is actually the longest quarter of privately owned businesses in America. I didn't so know that. Very in the world space. or America? In America. In not America. Not just San Francisco. Or in the world, I don't know. I don't know anything. It's the largest one I've heard of. I've been waiting all day for this. Boom! That's getting yeah. possible. Here we go. Okay. Okay, that's legit. Pretty good. Yeah. I would say I'm, you know, like 99.9% .9 cool. Are you sure that this is the impossible one? Did you oh, wait, order the wrong the... burger? This it's... is the meat one. Uh, You're kidding. Mm. Mm. Good burger. I like the queso, that's a nice touch. Mm -hmm. On an aesthetic level, we're hitting the points. The burger to bun ratio is good. Unlike the rest of Texas, they didn't go too large on the bun. <laughs> the queso, I haven't had queso on a burger before. I'd highly recommend it. Mm. Pretty delicious. I like these burgers. I would definitely recommend this to a vegetarian or somebody who just wanted to try something new. Or someone who's concerned about the meat industry mm -hmm. and wants to change their meat consumption. Having one thing eat another, less energy efficient. I still love meat. I'm still gonna eat it. But this is pretty good. So, so for every beef burger you eat, it's essentially 10 impossible burgers. The amount of energy in just, just into growing wow. the patty. Because the, it, you go straight from the vegetable to the table. Right, as versus opposed to taking a vegetable. A vegetable that a cow eats, the cow and eats then it. goes to the table. It's less energy efficient. I have to admit, the engineer in me loves it. <laughs> the impossible team says that if the beef industry was a tech industry, no one would invest in it. It's too uh, inefficient. It's just that we're kind of stuck in it because we've been doing it for so long. Hmm. Environmentally, it's not efficient. Resource-wise, the energy that goes into it, it's just none of it, it's all broken. So that's what Impossible is trying to do. 
and beyond and, and all these companies. I'm down to try new things. I think the world could use new uh, things. All right. I'm all about it. Shalika, why don't we ask you a couple of questions? I love yeah. it. How do you spell your name, Shalika? Phonetically. That way anyone who's reading it will read it hopefully the same way you wrote it. How do you say your name? I spell my name Shalico, S-H-A-L-A-C-O, rhymes with Calico, and I say it Shalico. <laughs> oh, my mother's now calling. Oh, oh, oh the baby's back. Subscribe to this video or I'll eat this baby. I don't think you can subscribe to a video. If you not. like this video, get really drunk, pick a fight, with a like button and hit that like button. Bam! All right, guys, my ride's here. I gotta go. If you want to see more stupid videos, you know, smash subscribe or something. Smash it. Oh, smash oh, an Impossible oh. Burger in your face at Weston Pecos. <laughs>